so it's my 65th birthday yeah strange coincidence though it seems I've got 65,000 subscribers Mo, I'm trying to talk here it seems I have 65,000 subscribers also so what a strange coincidence anyway Jan said to me it's been very interesting just imagine if every one of those 65,000 subscribers donated a pound <laughs> each you'd be 65,000 pound richer <laughs> That seems a good idea to me, that, do you think, Mo? <laughs> I can even get these trousers fixed, they've got a great big hole in the knee. Um, <laughs> to that end, that's just a little funny. I don't, I'm not serious. <laughs> okay, um, what this is about today, uh, I've had lots of people say to me uh, what kind of comments have I received over the last six or seven years, uh, and I've received all sorts, I can tell you, but I've decided just to do my 10 best, good, bad, whatever, uh, comments and I recorded this one just before Christmas sometime up on the top deck there so I'm going to switch to that video now and for all you that wish me well today and I know you all are thank you very much and uh, here's the video today I'm going to tell you about some of the interesting comments I get from my YouTube videos <laughs> you'll probably may or may not like these but I'm trying to pick some out that are the best of the ones that I've got I've got a little list here first off I'll tell you about one that was to do with a drill uh, I did a Chinese drill a little while ago uh, it was okay I just reviewed it said it's good points badly it was a home type drill not not a industrial type thing anyway the comments weren't too good so on the very next video I did which was on spanners uh, I said sorry about that that Chinese drill it seems like not many of you liked it I'll try and keep away from that next time anyway one of the comments I got back was listen Alan if you want to do that review on that you can do it just do the video on whatever you want because we can take it or leave it take your advice or leave your advice it is really up to you don't be put off by a bad comment and this was a particularly bad comment that I had on this camera that uh, it was basically a load of you know what and it kind of put me off a bit and I figured well maybe I better not do any more of these reviews but this comment really put my faith back in keeping on going at the end of the day I can do my review you take it or leave it and that is the end of it but don't be put off carry on carry on going and that is the kind of the way to do it with YouTube you've got to keep going no matter what comments you get your comments are going to be good bad awful uh, but you do have in front of you there on the computer the delete button <laughs> okay so if you get really really bad you can get rid of them okay that was one of my best ones I think that I was told just to carry on and not be put off which is what I'm telling you now too if you're considering taking this up carry on and do them okay next one a uh, really nice comment was uh, to do with central eating which as you know uh, is my stock trade of YouTube videos I'm a plumber central eating and most of my videos on how to do your own repairs well this was a mother on her own and she had a problem with her heating and I explained basically how to do it and get it going and she was so pleased she wrote back just to say that she was on her own uh, she had struggled with all sorts of illnesses uh, she wasn't very well but on her own she managed to do the impossible she thought and that was to fix her own central eating and you can only say thank you very much for everything now that kind of makes you feel it's all worth it isn't it it's all worthwhile you get something back from what you put in okay another one uh, some funnier ones I did uh, the Dawlish waves a little while ago coming down over the front there there was a lot of froth down in the bay coming under the bridge and various people put down oh it looks like a Dawlish is frothing at the mouth <laughs> and someone else wrote in and said I think I better come down and scoop some of that might be good for a bath you know <laughs> these kind of comments are great <laughs> and really good uh, and they make you laugh smile they're good it's all it's all good stuff what's another one um, mainly thanks a lot comments uh, on the main thank you for everything uh, couldn't have done it without your video um, this could have cost me money and thanking to you uh, what you've done has meant that uh, I've sorted my problem out so big thank yous that's that's always a great one um, 
and another one. Uh, it's kind of a funny one. And this is one probably me and Jane get evenly through when she does her cooking videos, and that is, why don't you speak proper American English? <laughs> American English? Wow, I always thought English came from England. <laughs> but yeah, why don't you speak proper American English? Now, my accent is London. You can tell. I live down in the West Country now, but that is my accent. I'm not going to change it, and that's one thing you must never do, everybody, if you're doing a video blog or whatever. Don't try and change your accent. Talk posh or anything. Just be yourself and speak exactly the way you were brought up, whatever area it was, whether you are Scottish or Northerner. Just speak the way you are taught and born now okay moving on to another one most common ones i think is how do i fix a boiler i mean now this kind of comes in a lot how do i fix my central heating boiler now it will come in with no information about what is actually wrong with it there's nothing just how can i fix my boiler <laughs> i'd have to try and configure in my mind what is wrong so I'll get back what, what is actually wrong with it well it doesn't work <laughs> you got I tell you some of these comments you know you've really got to uh, laugh sometimes but you, you have you asked to do the impossible sometimes but I think how can I fix my central heating boiler is a real good one <laughs> what else we got here which way do I turn the stopcock off? I suppose to me it's quite common and, and a lot of you DIY people that you turn the stopcock clockwise uh, to turn it off and anti-clockwise to turn it on but believe you me there's lots of people out there honestly that wouldn't know how to do that so it sounds such a simple task and people have said to me under the comment section why have you put down such silly information everybody knows how to turn a stopcock off but no <laughs> they do not <laughs> as with another one which how do I turn my radiator valve off? Which way do I turn it? Again, I've had comments from people, why have you wasted my time putting this down? But believe me, a lot of people out there haven't got a clue which way to turn that radiator valve, which direction, and the different types of radiator valves and what you can do to get the water off to your radiator. But they're always a really common comment. <laughs> okay, next one. How can I be a plumber like you, Al? <laughs> You know, I get lots of these, and I, I really try to answer them as long as I can. Uh, I usually direct them to my website where I answer them via an email because that's obviously quite a long one. How to be a plumber like me? I mean, I'm not the best. There's probably far better plumbers than me, uh, but I just do the best I can. And if you're really interested in plumbing and eating, then just get in there and do it. Learn all you can, especially if you can shadow someone and pick the thing up. You know, it's it's one of those. You've got to be really interested. But I do get this one quite a lot. How can I be a plumber? <laughs> okay. We move on. Two to go. The usual one I get a lot of the time. You have saved me a fortune. I would have had to call a plumber out on this job, but because of your video, you have saved me lots of money. Well, that's mainly what I'm out there for. That was what I started off doing. I was trying to save people money on doing their own central eating. So that one really hits me nicely here because that was what Derriton 33 and my whole plumbing channel was about. Another one was why you called Derriton 33. Well, no secret. I didn't want to be plumber parts or anything like this, which is out there because it would have restricted me to just doing plumbing. I wanted to be able to do a bit of everything. I know in the main it's plumbing and heating, but Jan does cooking, sewing, all sorts of things are done. I like to be able to, be able to do anything that I want, from the Dawlish waves to, you know, you name it, uh, reviewing equipment. I just love doing it. I like new technology and I love let it beat me. I always like to be ahead of it all the time. Just because I'm old doesn't mean I don't like new technology. I actually love it. Okay, last one. I suppose the most common one of the lot is thanks very much for sure sharing your information, for sharing your knowledge of what you know to us because we didn't know and you shared everything you know about your plumbing, heating and anything else you know which is generally DIY and things of this nature. You shared that with us and thank you very much for doing so. And that's probably the best one to end on, I think, don't you? <laughs> Honestly, I enjoy it. I enjoy doing it. So it's no problem, no hardship for me. It's a great thing to be on YouTube and know that I can just put my stuff up there and you 
guys enjoy it out there. That's what I get back. So, that's it. Thanks very much for watching. Catch you again another time. Bye-bye.